Hi, I'm so excited to take you into my listing at 1509 Reedy Court in St. John's, Florida. This house checks off the boxes on any buyer's list. Not only is it located in Julington Creek Plantation with A-rated schools, but you can see that it's also on a cul-de-sac, has a three car garage, and once we get inside, you'll see the fabulous split floor plan. One of my favorite features of the house is that you're greeted by these double bevel glass doors. Come on in, let's take a look. Right now, my back is to the front door, yet I'm looking out the backyard. And out there you can see the beautiful preserve and pool area, which we'll take a closer look at in a minute. To my right, we have these double French doors for this room that the current sellers are using as an office. The built-in stay, and there's a workspace on both sides of the desk. The great thing about this space, whether you're using it as an office, a man cave, a playroom, whatever you might be using it for, it's set away from the rest of the house, so whoever is in it does have some privacy. Let's continue on. <clears throat> Here we have the formal dining room. You'll notice the tray ceiling, as well as the picture framing, wainscoting, and chair rail. I love the tile floor that's throughout most of the common areas in the home. It's neutral, it's on a diagonal, which is an upgrade, and it really makes it easy for any buyer to come in, bring their furniture, and just move right in. The kitchen, as you can see, feeds right into the breakfast area as well as the family room. So this space really lends itself well for entertaining. The kitchen has beautiful stainless steel appliances, upgraded 42 inch counter, excuse me, cabinets with crown molding and roping at the top, under cabinet lighting. You'll note down below the little kick plate for the central vacuum. Solid surface countertops, a great tumbled marble backsplash. Really, no matter where you stand in this space, you have a view of the amazing yard. And then, of course, the laundry room is right off the kitchen. Don't miss the internet or intercom system. I sure wish I had one of these in my house. It would make getting a hold of my kids so much easier. While it doesn't get cold very often in Florida, it's still nice that there's a fireplace here for those few evenings in January and February where you need a little bit warming up. And of course, the built-ins, the woodwork in this house and the millwork is definitely above and beyond what you would see in a normal home. This used to be the formal model, and so you'll see a lot of touches that you might not see in other houses in Julianton Creek. Let's go on into the master bedroom. Oh, this room gives me a sense of peace. The color, the location, the view, where it's located in the house, and the size. I mean, this is a great master bedroom. We have a closet off to the left, and then the master bathroom. His and her vanities with gentleman height sinks. You'll see another kick plate, again, another space for the central vacuum. And just pointing out the tile work in the shower, you'll see this as we walk through the other bathrooms. There's upgraded tile work throughout most of the house. Now we're gonna make our way over to the secondary bedrooms. I mentioned this is a three-way split. So we have the master bedroom on the right. We have one bedroom and bathroom on the left. We have another bathroom and two bedrooms in the back of the house on the back left corner. And then upstairs is a special bonus room. And that's what it is. It's a bonus room and a bedroom. So this is bedroom number two. 
good size. That's a queen size bed. Plenty of room for a desk and a dresser. Bathroom. Number two. We'll come back and visit the upstairs space in just a minute. So here's a door to the outside. So the great thing about this door is that it leads right into where this bathroom is. So it also can be used as a cabana bath. So your guests don't have to traipse through the house with their wet feet when they have to use the facilities. <clears throat> and then here are the two other secondary bedrooms. Again, great space, love the tile floor. It allows for art projects to take place and if somebody spills something, not a big deal. Easy to wipe up. Bedroom four, again, more tile floor. Great closet under the stairs, which I often refer to as a Harry Potter closet. When I'm showing kids the house and I mention the Harry Potter closet, they get a kick out of it. Let's go upstairs to the bonus space. This room is great for a teenager retreat, a second family room. Perhaps you have your in-laws living with you and they wanna have their own space and they have this up here and then straight ahead is the bedroom. Bathroom number four. I said your in-laws, but really any guests staying with you. I know if I had the opportunity to stay in a house like this and have this much space, I may never leave. Let's go downstairs and take a look outside. <clears throat> really, nothing beats this pool on a hot summer day. And if you could feel the weather, today is definition of a hot summer day. Even on a rainy day, you could sit out here underneath the rooftop and just enjoy the sounds of the swimming pool. Not very many yards in this area would you find both a pool as well as grassy area as well as preserve. In the case of this home, not only is there a grassy area in the back of the house, but you'll see also on the side of the house. Since I'm not gonna jump in that pool and cool off, I'm gonna go back inside where it's cool. I really hope you had a good taste of what this house has to offer. If you'd like more information or would like to schedule your own tour, I invite you to reach out to me. I can be reached at 904-652-5978 or feel free to email me at erica at sellsjacks.com or send a text. I hope to hear from you and I know you're going to love this house.